people introduce themselves telling me how they've dreamed of this climbing trip, you know, for 20 years now. And it's like, okay, well, that's good. <laughs> good luck. If you're, if you're done dreaming about it after this year, wonderful. But if you're, if you're like the rest of us, it, it, it could be a lifelong obsession. experience you learn that trying for the summit is important. I would put huge value on trying for the summit of a mountain. Whether you get to the top of a mountain, uh, that all depends on whether you're strong enough, smart enough, and lucky enough uh, to be with the right people at the right time. Uh, I still get shut down on, on summits, on mountains that I've worked decades on. And it surprises people, you know, since I'm known in the climbing world and the guiding world. And so, you know, I, I can sometimes see it in the faces of my clients. They, they, they can't imagine that, you know, that they could be on a trip with me and we won't get to the summit. But of course, of course that happens. Avalanches don't have any respect for Dave Hahn. Uh, blizzards and crevasses and rock fall, they don't care at all who I am or, you know, don't have any respect for the people tied to me, so yeah. And the reality with Mount Everest, and I think the reason I'm continually interested in Mount Everest is it is a place where things happen, sometimes really wonderful things, sometimes great things, sometimes earth-shakingly bad things. But one of one of the values of, of going to this place is we don't we don't know what's in store for us. It's an adventure. It's the the core of the adventure. Wow.